Hi guys, welcome to this chainmail tutorial. I'm going to show you a really quick, easy way to make chainmail because there's multiple different ways of making chainmail. You can do the uh, hard, difficult, time consuming method where you make a bunch of little metal rings and you link them all together. Or you can buy a fabric that has a printed chainmail on it that doesn't really give a good three dimensional look. If you want a really good three-dimensional chainmail look, I recommend what I just tried, and that is going out and getting this stuff. This is the underlayment that you put under a rug um, so that the rug doesn't slide on your floor. It's kind of squishy, durable. I don't know, it just, it, it's real nice. Um, so I went from here to here to this. And this is my chain mail. And I will show you how exactly I did that. I first started off doing some research on how to make faux chain mail. I found different people suggesting different methods. A lot of people were saying, uh, go ahead and spray paint the, uh, the mat to give it the black finish. But when you spray paint it with the type of material that this is, it makes it tacky. And it just seemed more difficult to work with and tacky spray paint is just not fun. If you can find the mat and it already comes in the black color, I mean that's a home run. That saves you a lot of time and a lot of effort. But I found the white kind and so I had to make it black. Instead of spray painting, I went ahead and used a foam roller with some black latex paint that I had and I used the foam roller to spread it out across the rubber mat. Um, I worked in all different directions to try to get a nice even coverage. There are some areas where the paint didn't quite get on the mat and that was okay because once you put the silver rub and buff over top of the black, you don't notice the, the white spots at all and they're just so minuscule that it doesn't matter. But I really like this method uh, because the latex paint, it's, it's pliable, it's workable. I mean, I can go like this and roll this up in a ball and it won't crack, it won't break, it won't stick together. Um, like you would with the spray paint. All right, I'm using the Silver Leaf Rub and Buff. Um, this is the first time I'm using Rub and Buff. So I did a little bit of research. I found out that one thing you should do is make sure that it's mixed well. You want it to come out kind of pasty, not liquidy. So uh, what I was reading said to squeeze it around a little bit, uh, shake it a little bit, really just make sure that it will come out actually pasty. So let's see if I got that mixed around good or if I need to do a little more. So I'll just squeeze a little bit out here. And yeah, it's not running, so that's a good sign. So a little bit goes a long way from what I found out. Um, so I'm using my finger. You can use a brush, you can use gloves on your finger, but uh, Everywhere I was reading said to just use your, your finger, it, it works better, even though it will stay on your finger for a couple of days. So I just got a little bit there on my finger. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and brush it onto the, uh, the mat and see what starts to happen. Like I said, a little goes a long way. Now, right where I started, I, uh, Got a good bit more on than what I wanted to. So, lesson learned. Start and make it thinner um, before you uh, start working out. Because what I'm getting out here is a little bit more what I'm looking for. This is a little too bright. Uh, that's why I started on the back section of my chain mail that'll be covered for the most part. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just put a little bit around and then I'm going to start working out from there and see if that gives more of the effect that I want. Which it is, because I just want this to kind of show some highlights. I still want some of the black to work through because the chain mail I'm going for, I want it to be a little grungy. So if you want it real bright, real shiny chain mail, go ahead, put it on thick and spread it out nice. Um, but for me, like I said, I want it to be a mixture so it looks like, like it's been through a lot because uh, this is supposed to be some old chain mail. 
So there we go. Just in a matter of a couple minutes and a little bit of trial, we have this spread out to a pretty good section. It's about a, a foot by 10 inches. And I'm just gonna continue to keep working it different ways until I'm really happy with it, which I'm about there. So yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and continue working on this. Okay, there we go. That first little glob of rub and buff did a nice 18 by two foot section. Yeah, easy way to make chain mail. And this is what my fingers are looking like. If I was doing a Silver Surfer cosplay, this would be great, but I'm not. I went downstairs and I used this amazing soap that I have. It's by WD-40 brand. It's called Lava Soap and well, my hands aren't silver anymore, so that's a plus. There's a little bit on the tips of the fingers, but I can deal with that. That'll wear off in like 24 hours. So after all that work, this is what I ended up with. I'm really uh, satisfied with it because it has some age to it, some grittiness, but it really does give a nice look to uh, chain mail. Um, it's also very lightweight. And that's very helpful because the metal ring method of making chain mail gets very heavy. Um, so wearing this for hours upon hours, it's very feasible. I'm really happy with it. Hopefully you guys give this a shot yourself. Tell me what you did, if you liked it, if you did the spray paint method, if you were able to actually find black mat and where, because that would save a lot of time for future projects. Let me know in the comments below. So go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button down below while you're at it. And don't forget to hit that bell notification as well. That way you're alerted every time we post a new video. So until next time, so long, farewell, Namarie.